Hey, the riding season is almost over. It is the perfect time to find my brand new motorcycle for next year. Hey, roll the intro. Hey, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, Big Burns Moto Life. Hustle and muscle every day. Hey, it is a bittersweet day today for the channel. Hey, my feature bike that I always feature, my Harley Davidson 2006 Electric Glide that I feature in my videos, I'm gonna put that up for sale and we're gonna upgrade our bike this year. It's riding season, it's over. We're gonna jump in there and see if we can get a great deal on a fresh new bike. Hey, before I go any further, I wanna give a shout out to three YouTubers who I love and I think you guys are kicking ass. I wanna give you a shout. Hopefully you hear this, give a small YouTuber like myself some love. Hey, wanna give a quick shout out to my girl Queen Sit. She is badass on that road glide. Hey, also I wanna give a huge shout out to my man Traveling Tall. He has got a crazy 124 custom built engine in a street glide. Guys, check his channel out, he is doing it. He is all over the country. He is doing all types of stuff for Harley, Harley Ambassador. Hey, much love to you. Hey, and finally guys, I want you to recognize my man, everything's regular, man. <laughs> That's my dude though, guys. Hey, check him out on YouTube, guys. He is a great uh, Harley man. What he does is he goes to Copart and he gets bikes that have been wrecked and things like that. He fixes them up and then he has raffles for them and the bikes are crazy. He puts his crazy spin on it and I absolutely love it. So if you get a chance, check out Everything's Regular, guys. Hey, those are three YouTubers I love. There are a bunch more out there. I'll give you guys shouts, but right now, those are my three. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. I have narrowed the bike search down to three bikes that I'm going to go with, and we're going to choose from those three. So remember, I want you guys' opinions and comments in those comments below. Really looking forward to see, picking your brains and seeing what you think out there. Hey, number one, I'm going to go with the Street Glide. Definitely going to go with that one. There's a lot of mods you can do with that. It's a great bike. Hey, number two is the Road Glide. Crazy bike. It's got everything I need. You could also do crazy mods to that. I love it. Is it a great bike? Number three. Hey guys, I'm going to rock with that Road King Special. That is a badass bike. Even though it doesn't come with the fairing, it comes with that wind splitter windshield that is sweet with the vent in it. So guys, hey, definitely would give up a radio and a fairing, but the bike is sweet. It is ultra light. Definitely check that one out. I'm going to drop pics of these guys. Check them out and let me know. Hey, let's ride the Rubber City Harley Davidson. Let's get a bike started up. Hey, get this bike search started up right now. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, check this out. I've never seen this before. I'm inside a Harley Davidson Rubber City. Guys, check out those floorboards right there. Lighted floorboards. I've never seen that before. That is pretty sweet. Guys, you gotta check out the whole bike. Tricked out Road King. What year is it? 2000, 2003. Tricked out. Wow. Never seen those floorboards. Hey, anybody in the comments below, let me know. If you've ever seen floorboards look like this before, or if you know how to install this, definitely drop me a comment below. All right. Made my way over to see the new Sportster S. Hey, I know you guys do not like the pipe, but guys, I'm very impressed with this bike. And when you look at the specs, you can see it puts out 121 horsepower and it has crazy torque. It's lightweight and it's fast. So guys, definitely don't sleep on this bike. All right, guys, I think I found a contender right here, this Road Glide behind me. I'm gonna zoom in on it real quick. 2018, 23.9, not too bad at all. Take it around, guys. This is definitely a contender. I'm liking the color. I'm gonna take it around really slow. You see it's got the speakers on top of the saddlebags. Definitely a 107 on the engine. Nice little bit of chrome on there, but not too much. I'm gonna take it around to the back. Definitely got the bags on there. I would improve those bags, but at this point, I'd probably keep that like that right now. It's got the great pipes on there with the tips. Love it. And of course, you know I love that cockpit of 
the road glide. This is sweet right here. Loving it. Definitely. That is a contender, guys, right there. Let me know what you think. I love the seat. The two up looks really comfortable. All right. All right, guys, I am digging this 2015 Street Glide. You can check it out. Loving it. Love the bags. Let's check it out from the rear. Definitely loving that. I would definitely put stretch bags on that. They let me know what you think, but looks pretty good. I would definitely change a few things on here, um, but it does look pretty good. Let's look inside the cockpit. It's got the updated radio. The dials, everything looks really good. Just a few updates on it, but guys, let me know what you think, but I like that one. Let's go next door. Oh, I like that color right there. Definitely another street glide. And this is a 14 right now. Loving the color, but guys, let me ask you, do you really want uh, an orange bike for years and years to come? I do love the color, but let me know what you think about it. All right, let's keep it going. Mm -hmm. Nice guys, check this out. Laguna Orange. That's a bold statement right there. The bike is sweet, but that is a bold statement right there. You really gotta sell out if you want that color. Um, you gotta commit to it. I don't know if I'm gonna be ready for that. You let me know what you think, but I think that's too bold a color for me. All right. Do love the stretch bags in the back with the pipes. Looks really good. Um, definitely looks good. 107 definitely has to be a 107 or above if we're gonna go with it all right but definitely like that bike just don't know if I'm feeling the color all right let's keep moving. all right guys this is the second contender this is a bad boy right here this is the brand new 2021 road glide I don't know the color yet but it's sort of a teal color I don't know if you guys can see that in there but definitely the 114 engine it's crazy i'm loving gotta check that out real quick i'm loving the back pegs that's pretty sweet like that of course you know one thing i really love being on the electric glide right now i love the new quick detach bags i love it that's going to be one of the upgrades that i really love when i get the new bike um, also i love the rear and what they did back here Definitely would change those two pipes. Something a little bit louder with some slip-ons, but overall the 2021, you don't have to do many upgrades to this at all. It is ready to go. Um, definitely wanna, I'm gonna turn it on, let you guys see that. Nice, cockpit looks amazing. So this is definitely a consideration if we can get the price in a range where we can afford this this would definitely be uh, my number one pick the other road glide would be number two this definitely would be number one but it would be if we could get the cost down all right so let me know what you think but definitely this road glide would be the one i'm going to pan around one more time just to let you see it all it's got the tenant shield that i like looks really good all right guys Hey, what is up? Just got back from Rubber City Harley Davidson. Got the day off to a great, great, great start. I appreciate all you coming with me, checking out all the bikes. Definitely love those two road glides today. They are the number one contenders. Also loved a couple of those street glides. Hey, some color choices out there that I don't know if I was ready to rock with. But definitely, guys, I really, really want your comments below. There are a lot of guys out there who know their Harleys, know these bikes like the back of their hand. Definitely want to pick your brain and get your opinion about these bikes. So definitely drop me some comments below. I want to get into uh, a debate with you guys about this because I'm really taking this seriously. This is a great time to get these bikes as the ride seasons comes to a close. So I'm really thinking about making a move. So hey, guys, hey, don't forget, straight gliding is not just the way of life. It's the way things should always be. Keep those two wheels down. Peace.